Welcome back to this war of mine, Fading Embers. It's the beginning of day three, that's where we're resuming from. Before I get to anything, let's check the diaries. It looks like they make a new diary entry pretty much each day. So we've already seen the day one, I think. But day two, I had a guest today. Her name was Milena. She's in charge of the Pagoran Museum. She seemed nice and friendly and told me she used to be a friend of our family back in the day. She risks a lot searching the city under fire for art that's important for our culture. I'm impressed. I don't know if I could do so much to save our heritage in her place. Right, they said they'd be coming back later. Hopefully we can give them our art so they can preserve it. And they also said they were going to try to look for some medicine and food, I think. And still no diary for the unknown man. But, uh, yeah, they've actually woken up, so now I can control them? Maybe not. Well, yeah, I can't control them. Maybe we need to speak with them first. Can you hear me? You. Thank you. For helping me. What happened? Who are you? My name is Reuben. They killed us. All of us. Who? The army? They came to the synagogue with torches. Started shooting. I hid in the back. Tried to save what I could. I couldn't help them. My people. Friends. All dead. It's over. You're safe now. You need to rest. Okay, so... Oh, we have a, a diary. And of course their name. And apparently they're a stage actor? Day three, I woke up in a small house. A girl who lives in it is taking care of me. I don't remember how I ended up here, but I'm really grateful to her for all she's doing. I must get better to thank her properly. So starving, terminally ill, but recovering and sad. And we, or I shouldn't say we, because I don't know. Maybe it is we. Like, is Anja our main character? They are in the beginning. I, I guess they probably are the main character throughout. I think the original of this war of mine was more of an ensemble kind of thing. I think you started with one or maybe a couple people and you found more people as you went on. But I think Anja is the main character. So I'll just say that we are hungry and very tired. Any news? Nope, just still shortages of water throughout the city. What do we have here? Oh, fertilizer? I should check on the crops. Maybe they've grown. And if so, I can probably plant some more. Let's go do that right now. Mm, they have not grown. There's nothing I can really do here, right? This is to look at our stuff, but I'm not going to turn any of them into fuel right now. <clears throat> Ooh, it's only plus two degrees in here. Let's get some fuel and stoke that fire. <laughs> we really can't make much of anything. I think we're lacking wood for most things. And lacking a lot of things. Yeah, I guess I'll just make three things of uh, fuel with my three boards and that's about it. I think this is one of those situations where it probably be a good idea to skip to the end of the day because there's not going to be much for me to do. I still don't have anything to get this open. I had a lockpick, but I used it. Yeah, at this point, there's absolutely nothing else that I want to do right now, so... I guess I might as well end the day, but I guess if I have extra time, I might as well get some snow. 
If you leave snow in your house for a while, does it eventually just melt? Obviously it wouldn't be boiled and safe to drink, but wouldn't it melt? I don't know if the game goes that deep into simulation. Alright, we have plenty of snow. Let's just go ahead and end the day at this point. So the thing we need the most right now, I think, is food. Right, like Ruben is... They're terminally ill, but it said they're recovering. They're sad, but they're also starving, and we're hungry. So, uh, yeah, Ruben, of course, can still only sleep in bed. They're kind of awake, but they're not good enough to... Not healthy enough to go out and scavenge or anything like that. I would love to have Anja sleep. But we have to go out and get stuff. So food is the most important. Can't get there due to the bombing. Oh, there's a bunch of bombing happening right now. Where can we get? Can't get there. Can't get there. Can't I can't get anywhere, can I? Shit. Yeah. Okay, we better just sleep then. I don't even have a bed for Anja to sleep and they're gonna have to sleep on the floor. The good thing is we are gonna get food tomorrow, I believe. I think we planted some vegetables and those should sprout and be edible tomorrow. So we'll have some food. The shed roof collapsed. The shed roof collapsed during the bombing. We need to secure part of the collection. Oh, shit. So we actually have to actively protect the collection because of all the things happening. Ruben is barely moving. This illness is killing him. Anja is feeling much better. We just have to keep an eye on her. Oof. Blast damaged the shed. The roof is destroyed and the walls partially collapsed. Oh, is that Milena? Um. Is Anja sleeping in the snow? <laughs> Best way to stay warm. Make a nice little cubby for yourself in the snow and just tuck in there, nice and soft. Who needs a bed? <laughs> That's hilarious. So she just slept right where she was? Because I left her there. Got snow and then slept there. That feeling when you're so tired from getting 14 units of snow that you just fall asleep in the snow all night. <laughs> Very hungry, tired, but no longer very tired. His fever abated. Terminally ill, recovering, starving. Okay, well, they're not sad anymore. Kind of surprisingly. Uh, anyway, somebody knocked. Let's go. Hope it's Milena. Oh, no. Ah, I'll open it anyway. Let's make a deal. So you're a traitor. Let's talk first. My house was destroyed in the last shelling. You move around the city a lot. What did you see? The army l lobbed plenty of mortar bombs from the hills. Mostly at the center, but some landed in the suburbs. I didn't peek out from my shelter the whole night. Bloody murderers. They don't care who they kill. They want to break us. Scare us into submission. To force the Viseni into surrendering the capital and accepting Grozny rule. Do you think it's possible to destroy the identity of the whole people? I don't know. I'm just trying to live, day by day. War's fucking terrible. Franco. <clears throat> So how does this trading system work? Like, let's say I want the lockpick. It's 
So I can't even do a deal right now. Like I can't say deal, let's do it because obviously I'm not offering anything. What can you give me for that? What if, uh, I can't give them snow. That's a shame. Mm, sugar. There'd be no moonshine without sugar. Essential for the fermentation process. Well, I'm really not worried about moonshine at the moment. It won't do try harder. Uh, that didn't do much. Like, I'm not too worried about weapon stuff. Fine, we can have a deal. Okay. Definitely want a lockpick. Bandages. Mm, and there's a little description, kind of just like roughly telling you how much it's going to cost to get one of these things. Wow, well, the lockpick is quite common, being honest. But a bandage is, you'd have to show me a lot in exchange. <laughs> Shit. Food. Raw food. Hmm, that's quite a bit cheaper to get raw food. And I can cook it, I mean... I have the stuff to get at least one bit of fuel. Maybe just one bit of fuel. What is this thing down here? A mixer. We can use it to mix gunpowder or medicine ingredients. I don't think I'm going to be making any medicine anytime soon. Food. Let's go with the food. Give you some more shells, some more casings. Damn. I don't know if I want to trade more stuff for the vegetables. I don't really, really want to give up much more. Let's just go with that. I'll be here if you need anything more. Yeah, I don't think they'll leave until later in the day. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, let's go gather our food. Oh, we can speak with you. Are you feeling any better? I think so. I'm alive, thanks to you. I still see them. Try not to think about it. You need to rest. My backpack. Do you have it? Yes, it's safe. I was wondering what it was, but didn't want to go through your things. That's all I saved. Old manuscripts, my... Tullet? You risked your life to do it. I saved it from the fire. Took as much as I could carry. Please, can you keep it safe? Sure, I'll hide it. Now try to sleep. Yes, we have four vegetables down here. Heck yeah. And we can plant more. Actually, ugh, I need one more water. <laughs> so I could make herbs. Make herbal medications, but I guess I would need a mixer or something to be able to do this. And cigarettes, uh, I don't know, I'm not too concerned about that at the moment. I guess I'll try to get one more water. Fuel is going to be my big issue. Uh, I'm just going to leave that there for now. Sounds like we have to actually dig the artwork out, so let's do that. No, not that. Oof, yeah, that's gonna take a while. Hmm, it's so cold I can't do it and it would take a lot less time with a shovel. Um... Okay, hold on, it, it's possible we have a shovel. Now that I have a lockpick, I can open this thing up here. Please have a shovel inside? No shovel, but... Med... Oh, ingredients. Old pills and animal meds with a little bit of knowledge that can be used to make normal meds. Okay. Some clean water. Okay, so I can go plant. And we have some food. That's great. So vegetables make a much better meal when cooked with some raw food. So I should combine these two on the oven. 
Okay, that was good stuff. I don't have any fuel, right? No, I can just directly make fuel here. Well, I guess I better. Most I can make are two things of fuel. Oof. Okay, cooked food. And... Oh, that's just, that's the added vegetable. The raw food plus the vegetable makes that. A simple cooked meal, more nutritious and tastier than raw food. Gets even better and more filling with vegetables. Oh, that's gonna make, uh... It's gonna make two, actually. Why can't I make another one? Oh, it takes two fuel just to make it. Damn, I have the food and the water to make more, but I don't have the fuel. For crying out loud, it's dangerous outside? Are you talking to me? I didn't... You know I didn't say that you have to stay, right? Oh, am I eating this? Um... Hmm... If... So the food... Doesn't go into, like... Our items, but it... It also doesn't go into the fridge? How do I give you food? I can select... Just select it? Okay. I guess if you made it anywhere in the house, you can just select it and give it to him. This girl, she's doing so much for me. They're no longer starving, they're just, just very hungry. <laughs> What's this? Ceremonial items. Type relic, ceremonial items brought in by Reuben. A prayer shawl, decorated candles and scriptures. Reuben risked a lot to save them and they must be of great value to him. Put into box. Is that keeping them safe? We need to move these items from the areas at risk to be sure they're safe. Okay, yeah. Secure? The character's just doing this automatically, by the way. I'm not touching anything. Oh, it gets added to the collection. Let's go plant some more food. I should do food and not herbs, right? I think so. There we go. Four more planted. Yeah, it is very slow to dig that up without a shovel, and it's getting kind of late. And Anja keeps stopping because it's cold. I don't have... I would have to break down the art. Do I want to start doing that already? I'm going to listen to the radio. Torches of water. Still nothing new. Oh, I can move this. That's important. <laughs> the Basilica of Stefan the Martyr is on fire after a continuous mortar barrage shattered the damaged dome and ignited the scaffolding. Volunteer firefighters are battling the blaze, defying machine gun and snipers targeting them. Music. Winter holds us firmly in its icy grip. Many people froze to death in the recent days. The only upside is the decrease in crime, as even the bandits huddle in their homes.
What is that? Sounds kind of scary, honestly. It's extremely cold. It's zero Celsius right now. Should I break down some stuff for fuel? Oh, man. How much can I get? How much fuel can I get? Three fuel. Eight fuel. Oh, I think I need to do it. I think this is important. Hmm. Our home painting is worth a lot. Ah, Tito's vinyl records. Set of vinyl records. Tito, a true music enthusiast, collected many unique records over the years. Uh, we've seen that description before. If I wanted to, I could burn the precious records. <laughs> Jesus. I could even... <laughs> even break all the ceremonial items. That'd be so fucked up. <sighs> I'm gonna make fuel out of the Memory of Ages sculpture. Maybe our home. I would like to make more food. <sighs> Let's make fuel out of this. Our home. If I don't do this, we'll freeze. We really will. Oh, no. Okay, I better go put this in real quick. I'm not... I still don't know exactly what time night happens at. But it's very soon. I know that. No! <laughs> Shit. Well... That's gonna be awfully cold. Okay, at least the bombing's gone. I'm actually doing kind of okay on food. Now I'm more worried about fuel... ...and medicine. So, let's see, the neighbor... The neighbor wanted food, right? So I have some food. But then if I go there, that's the only thing I'm doing for the day, is giving them food, and there's nothing else to collect there, and then I leave, and then that's my entire scavenging trip for the day. What is that 47% that it says on the top right? 47% explored? It's probably counting stealing stuff, isn't it? Samuel Institute or construction site. Some food, some food, some materials, some materials, some parts. I mean, this construction site has a lot more than the Samuel Institute. Of course, there could be bad people there. Construction site is a sad reminder of the Pagorn development program that this war interrupted. The abandoned structure might still hold resources necessary for our survival. Yeah, let's go there. I use my lockpick, so no reason to take anything. Let's go. The game actually crashed when I tried to go to the construction site. And unfortunately, the game only saves at the beginning of each day, so I had to replay day four. But it's actually kind of a good thing, because I didn't quite get everything done that I wanted to. I didn't get a chance to stoke the fire. This time, I did. Um, oh, and I've also realized that this game really feels like it's meant to be played. With a mouse and keyboard, I've been using a controller, but I'm going to go back to mouse and keyboard. Let's try again with the construction site. Please don't crash. Please don't make me redo all of day four. Thank God. We can find some fuel for the heater here. Me too. Okay, I do have a problem though. For some reason, I don't know how to scroll to the right. There we go. I fixed it. 
Uh, it was just a technical issue that I won't explain because it would take a while to explain it. So remember, I need to be worried about other people. Running makes more noise. How do I... How do I get down here? Oh! Oh, I didn't realize you could just do that. Cool. Is this damaged heater move there's some useful parts inside I think I need something to break that down okay let's go back up Take a peek inside. Look safe. Lots of good general stuff. Gonna have to start being choosy about what I take at this point, though. Wood is gonna be awfully important. Fuel. Fuel, 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 fuel. Can you, like, jump that gap? No. Okay. This is going to take a while. Oof, that is going to take a long while. I guess... Go for it? I, is there anything else I can do? Um... Yeah, 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 we can go up here. Oh, People? There's people in there. They're not necessarily bad people, just unknown people. So let's not sprint, like, right above them. Let's be careful. What is this? Is this, like, hide? Oh, it is. This is great stuff. Two raw food, two vegetables. That's so important. So, forget the shells. Moonshine. That's a good trading item. It's definitely worth taking. Mm. Let's dump the part. Now I just have to hope to find either more valuable things or things that stack, because I am out of space. Whoa. A piece of jewelry, valuable bartering item. Hell yeah. Uh, let's give up the electric part. And then I almost want this water. 10 clean water is actually quite a bit. Trying to think, what's worth more, the water or wood? Wood can be used to make water, but I also have to make a filter, and that takes components and time. Um, I don't. I think it's worth dropping one piece of wood for ten water.
Do you have some way of getting up here? Oh, you do. Damn, you're so good. I think this is as high as we can go. Have I not been here before? I guess not. Ooh. Roll up, oh, roll up cigarette. I thought that was like a blanket or something. Quality roll up. Three fertilizer? That's fantastic. Um, let's dump some of the components. Take the three fertilizer. That's a must. Quality roll up might be a good trading item? And that's just straight up ammunition, not a shell, but actual ammunition. Do I want to dump more components for something here? Mm. I don't know. I don't know how much these roll-ups are worth. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with what I have. Uh, let's just run to exit. I don't actually know the way to get to the exit right here. That's gonna alert the people, isn't it? Oh. So that entirely ignores even people just run right in front of them. Uh, okay, well I guess they're not enemies. That was very productive.